Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me. So it's been a very long time, I know. It's actually even been months since I've last posted and you're probably wondering, what the hell? <laughs> I know you guys are probably mad at me, but there's a reason. There's a really good reason and I'm here to talk to you guys and see if we can reconcile because it wasn't my intention to leave you guys for so long. But there's a reason. I'm even out of breath. So I'm gonna tell you guys, you know, what it is. And dun, dun, dun. I know, what the hell? I know, I know. I'm thinking the same thing you're thinking. What? I'm still thinking that. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, let's process it together, actually. Mm. What, what? I feel the way you feel. <laughs> so um, I don't know, where do I even begin? First of all, I have no idea how this even happened. Okay, let's just say that. I'm, I don't even know what happened, how, when, you know, where, it just happened. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. So um, I guess to start, I'll tell you guys I'm 34 weeks. So I have six weeks left and um, it's been a weird experience, yeah. So I'm just gonna guess the questions that you guys have because I really don't know what you're thinking. So I'm just gonna answer the questions as though you've already asked them as best as I can. So um, I'll pretend you guys are asking me, how do I feel about the whole thing? <laughs> so um, to answer that, I'm still in shock my own self. I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock. Um, I'm happy about it. Oh my God, that does not sound convincing. So it wasn't the plan, you guys, at all. Um, <clears throat> this wasn't intentional whatsoever. And I even like didn't even know for like two months that this was happening. So I was just living my life, you know, without even realizing that this was a possibility. And the reason is because during that time, I actually got like a seven day period, you know what I mean? So it was quite shocking to find out that this is what was really happening <laughs> to me. Yeah. So um, it's been a shocker, it's been a shocker. I definitely wasn't um, like prepared to do this at this time in my life I was totally getting used to just the way things were. If you don't already know, I have two kids already. Naomi is 14 now and Jordan is 10. So um, I was settling into being a mom of big people and that was it and leaving it there for a while, you know? So um, this is definitely a big shocker for me and I'm, still at 34 weeks trying to really, 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 really digest that in a couple of weeks, there will be another person here that won't be leaving. <laughs> like, you know, like they will be permanently here at all times. Yeah, so I'm still processing. So we're on the same level of processing. I think that part of me hasn't even fully accepted it and maybe I'll fully accept it when it's like in the world and not inside of me anymore. Still feels very, very, very surreal. Yeah. So um, another question, I'm sure you're all wondering, how is pregnancy this time around at this age maybe? So I had Naomi when I was um, 20 and I had Jordan, he was, I had him when I was 24 years old. So I was a spring chicken, y'all. I'm currently 34. I don't really embrace it, but that's what the calendar 
says, you know, <laughs> being pregnant this time around has actually been miserable. Miserable! Like, I did not even notice I was pregnant with Naomi and Jordan. Like, the entire pregnancy, I had no morning sickness. Um, I had no nausea, no pain, you know, nothing. I was actually, like, fine for both pregnancies. And I thought that, you know, pregnancies thereafter would be similar. And no, it's not true. I'm even out of breath. Like, I don't even remember all of that type of stuff when I was pregnant with, with my first two kids. I am tired. Um, I did not have morning sickness, but I definitely was um, like a little bit nauseous and sensitive to like smells and I had some food aversions, but I didn't have like throwing up or anything like that. But one thing I had was low blood pressure and it was very, very bad. Just washing the dishes, I would do like five dishes and I'd need to go take a 20 minute break and then return to doing the dishes. Walking was so exhausting. It's kind of leveled out now, but I still do feel exhausted and tired, like an old lady. <laughs> so it's definitely been different. Um, and it's been taking a toll for sure, which is also why I haven't been um, making videos and vlogging and stuff like that. It takes energy to do that stuff and I am low on energy right now so i just been taking it easy and kind of taking a break but now that i feel a little bit better i am going to try to vlog for you guys my day to day um you know one day at a time <laughs> yeah that's what i want to say am i going to be giving birth in africa yes 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 i want to give birth in africa um, my two first children, I gave birth naturally to my son, like with nothing, with no medical intervention or whatever. It was in the hospital, but I gave birth naturally. Naomi, um, I was induced with Naomi and the amniotic fluid a week before her due date, it was low. So that was the reason I was induced with Naomi. They did give me the epidural, but I think by the time they went to turn it on, she was already here. So it was basically natural. I felt most of everything with her as well. And in that situation, they actually gave me an episiotomy when I was delivering Naomi. But other than that amniotic fluid situation, I've had straightforward, you know, uncomplicated, births so i'm hoping this time around that not hoping i'm actually quite sure this time around it'll be you know pretty much the same type of thing i'm not really worried about anything bad happening and that type of stuff so with that being said um i'm not actually going to do a hospital birth this time around i'm actually going to do a home birth which is something i've always wanted to do so I am excited to do that. So I'm gonna be doing a home birth in my home <laughs> and I'll record it so you guys can, you know, go through the experience with me. I guess I'm looking forward to that experience in itself, you know, just doing that. I am seeing a doula and a midwife and the antenatal um, OBG, is it OBG or obstetrician? I can never remember. I'm seeing one of these guys, you know, for the duration of my pregnancy, even though they won't be the, the ones to deliver me. I've already hired a doula and a midwife who are going to actually do the actual delivery. As for people who know about my pregnancy, it's basically no one. No one even knows about this at all. You guys are finding out for the first time with a lot of other people. Um, a few of my close, 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 close friends know of course, um, my parents know, and that's it, pretty much. It's a secret. Um, yeah, so we're discovering it together at the same time. <laughs> I think the reason I kind of did that was I was just still in shock processing that my life is going to be permanently changed that I wasn't really prepared for, so I just 
you know, I just wasn't excited <laughs> to share that at all. I wasn't excited at the time. So I just took the time to, you know, process. Process. I took the time to process. So it wasn't an internet thing, you know. So also the children do not know they are currently in Canada with their dad and they are rejoining, rejoining me to live here as well soon. So they don't know about it. I know kind of crazy living on the edge by the time maybe you see this, they'll have known about it, but they don't know about it. So they're not going to have a ton of, ton of time to process it either, but you know, it'll be fine. It'll be a nice surprise for them. Yeah, um, what else? Eh... Also, I, I told LaToya and she copied me. Can you believe it? I mean, I'm not surprised, you know. She literally copied me. So I am further along than she is. And, you know, once she found out about it, she definitely um, just copied me. It's kind of weird. Yeah. But it's fine. I love being a trendsetter. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Um, but shush, are there any other questions? So obviously I didn't have, not obviously, but I didn't have a baby shower or anything like that. And well, obviously Jordan is now 10 years old, so I don't have stuff left over from him or something. So I have to get everything from scratch. Um, it definitely is interesting getting it all from Ghana because um, they don't have everything in one place. Some things are hard to find. And even the prices are just kind of crazy for some things. So that's, um, that's a thing. But I am having important things sent from Canada. It kind of just makes more sense for certain things. So, um, yeah, in that regard, uh, it is different for sure. You know, there's no Amazon here where you can just order like the latest gadget or whatever, you know, but you know, I'm a simple person. So I think the necessities are good enough for me really. But if there are any amazing, um, items that maybe helped you with your baby or pregnancy or, you know, your newborn phase or whatever, you can also let me know if there's anything that changed your life that you think I should really get. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, this is just a preliminary video, just letting you guys know what's going on, where I've been and why I'm sure you guys have tons of more questions for me. And if anything, you guys can actually leave those questions in the comment box below. And maybe I'll just do a question and answer video in my next video. Yeah. So I'm going to call it a day for now. And we are going to chat again. And in the meantime, between time, I'm going to give you guys a few just day to day vlogs with my pregnant self. Okay, guys. Um, I think that's it. So I love you guys and I'll see you again. <laughs> okay. Peace. And that